Florida's abortion bill battle gaining steam at the moment. Late last night, the state house passing a 15-week abortion ban. The bill now one step closer to becoming law. Simmons and Colin Salata live for us in Tallahassee, where it's headed next, Nicole. It is headed next to the Senate here in Tallahassee, Jeff. And you know, it was a long night, though, in the in the Florida House. Hours and hours of debate. Finally, though, it did pass mostly on party lines. The sergeant will restore order in the gallery. Early Thursday morning, pro-choice demonstrators in the Florida House gallery broke into chants and ultimately removed by police. The people united will never be defeated. They're very close to voting down our right to abortion and our right to choose. 78 yeas, 39 nays, Mr. Speaker. So the bill passes. And minutes later, the Florida House did approve new restrictions on abortion after nearly six hours of debate, many drawing on their own experiences as they discussed House Bill 5, which bans most abortions after 15 weeks. Like many victims, I was raped by someone I know who wouldn't listen when I said no. I had a choice, and I selfishly made the choice to have an abortion. I remember when women were mangled and butchered, desperate to find some way to end a pregnancy. We can't go back to that. This issue is about standing up for those that can't stand up for themselves. And I would ask all of you to support this bill. Democrat Robin Bartleman of Weston told of learning of a fetal abnormality during her pregnancy and how the timing took her past the 15-week mark. So when you get that terrible, heartbreaking news. You don't even have a decision because the state of Florida has already taken away from you. I think some people heard me on the floor. I don't think they listened. Hours later, she says she fears Florida women are entering a dangerous time. The science of having an anatomy scan and an amnio and, and that information to make a decision, that's very personal. Look, I couldn't decide. I did not know what I was going to do, but I am grateful every day that I had a choice. Republican Dana Trabalzi of Fort Pierce with a different perspective, regretting her choice. I didn't want a baby, so I had an abortion. And it's something that I have regretted every day since. I will never get to know the unborn child that I could have had. You know, the stories are going to be impactful. What, what is striking to me, though, is the, the, the stories about protecting life. Okay, and now it runs, it uh, heads to the Florida Senate now. We will uh, likely see some amendments to this bill here in the Senate. We know that there is a, a push among some for a rape and incest exception. So whether or not we will see that, we probably will know more next week. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Nicole Insalata, 7 News.